Hi, and welcome to Crafts with Ash DIY and Decor. My name's Ashley, and today I put together a really fun compilation video of my Easter and spring decorating from last year. I'm about to decorate my house this year for Easter and spring, so I thought we would get us in the mood. So if you want to see how cute this came out, stay tuned. Don't forget to check out my other channel, Life with Ash. This channel is a more behind the scenes vlog style channel filled with mama life, mama hacks, cleaning, organizing, hauls, shopping decluttering, decorating, and even more fun. That channel is all about real life. My hair is always in a messy bun. I live in leggings. I rarely ever wear makeup, and I'm just trying to get through this thing called life. So if you can relate to any of that, jump down to the description box below and click the link to my other channel, Life with Ash, and come hang out with me over there. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Also, if you love what you see, don't forget to hit that like button because it really does help my channel grow. So now it's time to decorate the coffee bar. You can see the sign is already hanging. So to start this off, I'm going to start with two plates I like to use as risers and then this cute little Hello Spring teapot. And then I'm going to put two plates on the other side. And I am going to put this little topiary from the Target dollar spot, and this one has eggs on it. So I just put it in this little planter, which I got in the Target dollar spot, I believe, last year. So now I'm going to put one of my previous DIYs right next to the teapot. If you missed that video, it was a video of all high-end store dupes. I will have it linked down below, but you definitely want to check that out. It was I was really proud of those. <laughs> All right, on the other side, I'm going to go ahead and put this light pink canister. And look at this bird. It came from Hobby Lobby. It was 40% off of $4.99. And I just thought it was so cute. Now, you're going to notice that I'm going for all pastels here. So if, you know, you love those light, airy colors for spring and Easter, you're going to love how this came out. So then I went ahead and put a little plant uh, on the other side in a little terracotta pot that I distressed and then I have this egg holder It is Ray Dunn, but I turned it around because I just didn't want that many words and then I filled it with eggs Moving down to the second shelf, I'm going to go ahead and put those plates there again as a riser. And I'm going to put another one of those planters and topiaries on that side to go ahead and even it out diagonally. And then I am going to use these cute little chargers that I got from Hobby Lobby last year. And I'm going to use them to kind of dress up the background. I feel like layering is such a huge thing. And I'm really trying hard to incorporate that more. Not only that, but I'm really trying hard not to be symmetrical and use all the same stuff. And I really do think that I achieved that look in this coffee bar. So I can't wait till you see the finished uh, product, but I think you're going to love it. So I am bringing in those natural wood touches and elements as well. So I'm going to go ahead and use that thing. I don't know, a fan. I don't even know what that is. But I'm going to go ahead and put in the middle. Now, as you can see, I am having such trouble with these things standing up. Now, my shelf does not lay flush against the wall because it is warped. I bought it like that because I wanted it to be distressed, but I didn't think about that. <laughs> so there is like a little opening that you can see the chargers are sliding into. So what I'm going to use is use these plastic or I'm sorry, rubber little grippers. So I'm just going to put my charger where I want it and then I'm simply going to go ahead and put the gripper down and look how perfect that works. So I'm going to do that for the two chargers, that thing in the middle, and then you see, you'll see that I am going to add a really cute plate that I believe I got from Hobby Lobby last year. And I love how that little backdrop came out. So cute. So on the other side, I'm going to go ahead and put this spring bunny canister. I thought that was adorable. And then I have this little fruit crate that I got from Five Below, actually. And I'm going to put it on its side. And then, of course, I'm going to put some little eggs inside. Do you know how hard it was for me to find some pastel colored eggs this year? I just could not find any anywhere. Crazy. Then I'm going to even it out by put this honey bunny mug and topper on the other side. And I have another one of those canisters. It's just a smaller size that I'm going to put on that other side. And then this little uh, 
watering can with some uh, greenery. And I thought that that came out super cute. Now, I got this garland for half off at Hobby Lobby. I actually got two, which you'll see me use the other one in my living room video. I got a second one so I could do this. I ripped off a whole bunch of stems from it and there you you can get a ton and I think that adding this greenery mossy touch brought this whole thing to life no pun intended but I absolutely loved adding that then I just went ahead and pulled these little yellow picks off of uh, like stems that I already had and I chose yellow to go ahead and bring the yellow from that egg crate up. Now the egg carton crate thing is a little bright yellow for me. I might actually distress that like go over it with some ivory paint just to kind of tone that down but for now I'm just going to leave it and that's why I used some yellow little flowers to go ahead and tie the yellow in. Either way I'm obsessed with how that came out. All right, now moving down to the coffee bar itself, we're going to work on a tiered tray. I bought that little rain boot from Target Dollar Spot this year and then just went ahead and put some Dollar Tree florals. I am loving the frosted florals. Uh, this year, I, I bought a ton. And then I did feel like it was a little low, so I just went ahead and stuffed a napkin down there. And now I'm going to go ahead and just arrange all my flowers. And I love how this looks. I think it's so, so cute. All right, then to go in the front of that, I'm going to put this candle that says Happy Spring, and it smells so good. And next, I'm going to put another little bird to tie in with the other bird, and this is an, on a diagonal from the other bird. And then I have this little egg, uh, little holder, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a little plastic egg. Moving down to the bottom, I have this little bud vase, and I'm just going to go ahead and add some mini utensils and things that I've, I've had. I bought them last year, or no, in 2021, actually. Now, to add a little dimension and layering, I am going to put that little uh, charcuterie board in the back. And then I'm going to add some cups, although you're going to see those come out <laughs> in just a second. But I have this Hip Hop Creamer and Sugar Set from Ray Dunn that I think is absolutely adorable. And inside the hop, I'm actually going to put these bunny measuring spoons that I got in 2021 from the Target Dollar Spot. And I thought that they were adorable. And I remember I had to hunt these bad boys down. I could not find them anywhere. Then finally I found them and I was so excited. So then in the front, I'm going to take my little white truck and I am going to place uh, some little mini eggs from Hobby Lobby inside the white truck. Now, these were the only pastel eggs I could find, but these are mini eggs. I would love like regular size eggs. I can't find them anywhere. All the ones that you see me using are from tr previous year years besides these mini ones. So really weird. I'm, I'm, yeah, I mean, it's all about the bright right now and I'm just not, I don't, I'm not a bright egg person. I want pastel. But anyway, I just went ahead and arranged those eggs and then I'm just going to put this little bunny behind uh, the truck just to add a little height. Now, like I said, out comes my cups. I just felt like it was too much over there. And also, I wanted to make room for this little watering can. And inside, I am going to first put a napkin to raise up these little cute wooden spoons from Hobby Lobby. And I put those there to go ahead and bring in that natural wood feel again, because that's kind of what I'm going with throughout my kitchen, coffee bar, and living room. So then I'm going to go in with this little egg succulent that I got from the Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago. And then this cute little beaded garland I actually got this year from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to go ahead and arrange this. And then I'm going to go in with that greenery again and just kind of fill in any empty spots. Okay, now I'm just going to quickly go through and rearrange some things because I just wasn't loving it. But after I moved some things around, I think this came out so, so adorable for spring and Easter. 
Now, one thing I did not actually record was in this next clip, you're going to see that I added a little pastel mint colored runner and I think it is so cute. So now that my tear tray is done, we're going to add the coffee cups. And of course, these are just Ray Dunn coffee cups and I love them because they're that pastel color. So I'm going to go ahead and add three up on the rack and then of course one to my Keurig. Don't mind all the spots. I need to wipe it down. Anyway, that completes my coffee bar and I'm obsessed, but what do you think? Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along, and I can't help but feeling just loving. Okay, and now it's time to move into the kitchen. So I'm going to start off in this little corner. And I purchased this really cute distressed tray at Home Goods for $12.99. And then I'm going to add this cute little bunny. I don't know where it came from. It was in my stuff from years ago. Next, I'm going to add this watering can and these little tulips that I got from the Target Dollar Spot last year. And then also, I forgot to mention, I also have my lamp there as well. I really love having that lamp there because it does add light to that corner. So now to add, bring in the natural uh, element, I'm going to add another little charcuterie board. Then I have this really cute salt and pepper shaker that I'm going to add right on top. Uh, I thought that that was so springy and so Eastery. And now I'm going to add another beaded garland and... Then I'm going to top it off with this cute little rolling pin from the dot, nope, from Hobby Lobby. And I did get it for 40% off. And then I'm actually going to go in with a, another little whisk that I had. Uh, I don't even know where I got it, but it was cute. So I thought I would add it just to add a little bit more color and just to fill in that little blank spot. And I really love how this little tray came out. It is adorable. All right, next to hide the outlet next to my knives, I'm going to add this little tea towel to this towel ladder and just kind of use it to somewhat cover up the outlet. <laughs> and now I'm going to add a candle to the top of the stove, which I always do. This one is called Flower Child, and oh my gosh, it smells so good. I actually have had this lit a couple times already, and oh my, oh, it just smells like spring in the house, and I absolutely love it. So then moving down to the handle, I'm going to add this cute little bunny towel. I actually got this at Target last year, and so I'm going to stick it right in the front, and I thought this was so cute. All right, moving to the utensil holder, I'm going to add this Hello Spring uh, tea towel. And on top, I have another one of those pink canisters. So I just took the lid off, and now I'm just adding any 
white utensils, wood utensils, and then any Easter themed utensils that you're about to see here in a minute. And I like to have these taller utensils there because that covers up that outlet. And so it's functional and serves a purpose, yet it's decorative as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and add these cute little spatulas. And now I'm just kind of arranging them to make sure that that outlet really is, really is covered. Then to the side of that, I'm going to go in with a mushroom. And you all know, if you've been following me, mushrooms mean a lot to me. And they're you know, because of my grandma, her family owned a mushroom business. And so I like to keep a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and place that there and then complete this little corner with this little sign from the Dollar Tree. And I really love how this little area came out. All right, now moving on to my little hooks on the side. I'm going to start off with this uh, little dish towel that I got in a set of two. And then I got this oven mitt actually this year from Dollar Tree Plus. One of my Dollar Trees finally has a plus section and I have been loving it. I love their cute decor. Not bad for just a few dollars more, to be honest. And then that um, cutting board, I always keep there. So I'm just going to kind of arrange it. Now I'm going to put this really springy uh, wreath on top of it. This is just something I had in my stash. And I liked that it's kind of layered. And then I'm going to go in with this sign that says, Hello Spring. I believe this came from the dollar spot from Target. I don't know, a couple years ago, this was also in my, in my stuff, um, my past stuff. So I'm not, I don't know where it came from, but this is just, oh, I just love how this came out. It is nothing says spring more than this display right here, in my opinion. Okay, I am so, 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 so sorry. I <laughs> did this whole thing and I thought I was recording the entire time. And I'm like, Ugh, I am not taking it all down. So I'm just going to kind of go through what I did here. Um, I have this crate back here. I always have that here because it hides this area because there should have been a cabinet up here. Anyway, if you've been following me for a while, you know. Um, I A lot of this is Ray Dunn. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. This is just where I kind of put things that I didn't know where else to put them. So I have this cute little bunny um, birdhouse, a plate, and I just put that on a uh, plate stand. And then back here, I have a canister. It says crack me up, but I turned it around just because too many words. And um, I do feel like there is a hole right here, though. So I'm going to need to find something to put there, but... And then I also have that little bunny um, to kind of bring your eye up. I have this really cute basket on the back of that. It says spring, I think. And I just put a plant in that. And then I, my favorite, my honey bunny. And then I just layered some um, cutting boards. But I put this bunny here to, you know, make it kind of somewhat even. So... I'm going to try to find something to put right here. I don't like that you can see that. And from the floor, you can see that. So, oh, and then I just put this garland. So, I am so sorry. I did not realize that it was not recording. Okay. I'm going to go find something to put up there. Okay. I added that birdhouse. I don't really love the color. I'm not going to lie to you. I really hate that color. Um... <clears throat> but I'm just going to keep it because it is what it is and I'm over it. <laughs> um, I was just so mad to see that it wasn't recording this full time. But anyways, I do, I do like how the top of this came out. I think it's really pretty. So I know it looks like there's a lot up there, which to some people, it does look like a lot, huh? Hmm. Maybe I can move some things around. Nope. I think we're good. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it. All right, let me know your thoughts about that birdhouse. I think it's, I like the shape. I love everything about it except for the color. I think I wanna paint that. I don't know why I got that. I don't even like the color. All right, well, let me know what y'all think in the comments. <laughs> All 
All right, now we're going to move on to my hangy basket thing. I never really know what to call it. Um, but to start off, I'm going to start... I'm going to put some greenery and some of these pink little florals in here. Now, these florals all came from Dollar General, so make sure to check them out. Then I'm going to put this cute little bunny plate from Target inside the basket. They, I just got these um, this year, and I got two, one for each of, one of my girls because I thought it would be cute to eat breakfast off of. I mean, one of them is only five months old, but, you know, you, you, you get the... You get the idea, you know, in future years. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a little napkin. That's actually a napkin right on the top to add a little color on that side. Now we're going to layer up some cutting boards. Everything you see here is about to come or did come from Target Dollar Spot at one point or another. So I love that little sign, April showers, bring May flowers. I totally forgot I had that. That was from like years ago. And then this uh, little char charcuterie board also came from the dollar spot this year. So I'm just kind of layering them. And then this also came from the Target dollar spot, I believe last year, or the year before. So I'm going to add that to the top. And then moving down to the bottom, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add those little florals and a plate. Now you're going to notice that the theme here is kind of like the blush pinks the naturals and the greenery. And I, I really think that shows. So, uh, I, I just, I, I know I keep saying it, but I just love how everything came out in my kitchen and I did not get to decorate last year cause I was so, 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 so sick being pregnant. And I just could not even, and you know, I'm sick when I don't decorate. Right. Okay. So uh, that's how sick I was. So, you know, I was just waiting to decorate this year. I could not wait, could not wait. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add another one of those napkins. Then I'm gonna go in with another one of these wreaths to go ahead and bring the greenery down diagonally. And then I'm gonna add this cute little cutting board cottontail candy to this side. And that's why I did Cottontail Cafe on, on my DIY sign. And that's how this shelf hangy hooky thing came out. And by the way, I did build this myself. I do have it in a video. It's my thrift flip video. So you definitely wanna check that out. That was from December, 2021. Anyways, look at this. Doesn't this just scream spring garden to you? Oh, it does to me, and I love it. Okay, moving on to this uh, chicken wire shelf from Hobby Lobby. This is another reason why I put the cottontail on my sign. This says Cottontail Field Sweet Shops. So this is going to be kind of candy themed. And look what I've had for years. This chocolate bunny. I actually have three of them. So I thought that these would be perfect on this little stand. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on a riser. Don't worry. Don't mind the fact it's red. We are going to be hiding that. And then I'm going to add another one of my little chocolate bunnies how stinking cute especially because the sign says jelly beans uh, candy eggs and chocolate bunnies so I thought that was perfect so I'm gonna go ahead and add the other one on the other side next I'm going to take this little cloche that I got from the Target dollar spot this year now I'm gonna be completely honest with you I have no idea if this is food safe but I went ahead and added some um, cookies that my mother-in-law actually baked and sent over so I thought that they would be so cute in this little cloche again I'm not recommending this I don't know if this is food safe but I was gonna put a doily down and then forgot but either way it is what it is <laughs> um, so I'm just doing a little rearranging and then I'm gonna take this little cute little jar from Walmart and of course I have to put my favorite thing in it peanut M&Ms they are my absolute fave and I'm not going to lie to you, I ate whatever was left in the bag uh, the whole rest of the time as I was recording this video because it just, I hadn't eaten lunch, I was hungry and they were there and they were open and I'm like, whatever, you got to work, you got to do what you got to do, right? So I'm just going to place that on the one side. Then I have this perfect bowl that says jelly beans. So we have to add these rainbow sparkle jelly beans that my daughter had to have. She wanted the rainbow sparkle ones. And look how cute these are. These are like, they really are sparkly and they're kind of iridescent, which is kind of fun. Look how fun those are. 
So I went ahead and added that to the middle. Now these little candles I've had for years and years. So I'm just going to kind of spread these around. But you are going to see that I make a change here in a minute. I just felt like it was looking kind of blah. So I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to take those two middle ones out and I'm going to replace them with these little pots. Now I did not notice when I put these on that one was distressed and one wasn't, but that's okay. You can't, you're not going to be able to tell. So then I'm going to go ahead and take that moss greenery again. And I'm going to put some in each one of the pots and then these mini eggs. Now I missed the footage, but I did go ahead and put moss greenery all throughout the whole, um, the, this whole stand so I apologize about that but you'll see it in the final shots so now I'm just kind of tucking the eggs in so they're hiding behind the greenery I didn't want them like sticking out so but I just kind of wanted them peeking through so I'm going to go ahead and do that to this one and the other pot as well Moving down to the bottom, I want you to ignore everything that's in there right now because it's all about to change. I did one thing and then I didn't love it. I didn't change it too much as you're going to see, but I forgot that I had this little carton. And so I'm just taking all the bigger eggs and I'm going to go ahead and put the bigger eggs in the carton. And then that's what I'm going to put in that middle one. Now you're going to see when I go to put this in, they all fall off. I just had a time with the, this bottom part of the shelf. I don't know why, but so I'm just going to go ahead and arrange my eggs. And then I did put greenery on the inside of each one of these as well. And like I said, I think that, that moss greenery or whatever greenery or flowers or plants, whatever you use, the fillers that you use really ties it all together and like takes it up a notch. I feel like it goes from bland to high end decor display. So, you know, whenever you're feeling like, oh, I don't know, this looks kind of empty. This looks kind of bare. Add greenery or fillers or in the fall, pine cones, things like that. Okay, so now I have these two little bowls. And so I'm going to go ahead. I stuffed them first with napkins to build it up a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and put greenery on the um, on the top and then I'm going to kind of just nestle in some little eggs and I did it to both and this is what I'm going to put on either side. Now I meant to put some white plates underneath these to rise them up but I forgot uh, so I might go back and do that. I don't know that I'll get to a home tour this year. I'm going to or for Easter. I'm going to try. I'm not sure but if I do you'll see those little changes that I make. All right, so once my bottom part was complete, I'm going to move over to the side. This is always where I keep the dog treats. So I went ahead and added a little tea towel. And then I'm just going to move um, his bones over to the bunny treats jar. And, of course, he heard me. So there was one left. So, of course, I had to give it to him. And then he just ate and ran. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and add that to the little stand. And that's how this little area came out. And I think it is so sweet. Moving on to my sink, I'm just going to go ahead and add these cute little uh, dispensers that I actually made a couple years ago. I'm going to add a towel. I don't have any more Easter spring towels, so that's just going to have to do for now. And then I had these little chicks from years ago, so I thought I would add one on each shelf. Now, I do add a garland over that, but I did that off camera. Now moving on to my kitchen table, I always have this little Lazy Susan in the middle and then I'm going to add this cute little tiered tray from the Target Dollar Spot. This year it was $5 and I freaked out if you saw my haul video. <laughs> now I'm just going to add a bunch of little things. The majority of this stuff came from Target Dollar Spot. Uh, so I just have a little happy or hello spring sign. I have another little egg holder. Um, now, this actually came from Pop Shelf. I believe it was $3, but I it, I don't know. It kind of reminded me of an egg, so I thought it was cute, and it's a cute little candle holder. 
Now, this bunny was also Target dollar spot. This None of this was this year. It was a couple years ago. Next, I'm going to add another one of those little faux succulents and another one of those cute little uh, egg candles. And then, of course, I'm going in with more greenery because I just felt like it just elevates the look. So I'm going to go ahead and dress up my tear tiered tray with the moss and a little bit of flowery picks, too. Then I'm going to go in with some cute little napkins that I actually had in my bins from last year that apparently I never used. So I'm going to go ahead and add those. Now that's all I wanted to add to the middle. I felt like that was enough. But to complete my table, I'm going to add these cute pink placemats uh, from Hobby Lobby. And they reminded me of like a nest type of thing. I don't know. I felt like they were springy and perfect for my kitchen table. Now it's time to add some finishing touches like adding this little wreath to this wall and then I'm going to go ahead and make up a tray to keep on my peninsula. This little um, flower bouquet came from Hobby Lobby. This of course is a Dollar Tree find and then the little rolling pin is from Hobby Lobby and that's it. That completes my kitchen for spring and Easter. What do you think? How do you think it came out? So the first place I always like to decorate is my mantle and I'm going to go in with this moss garland. If you caught my last video with my kitchen and coffee bar, you saw that I decorated all around those areas with this garland because I bought two, one to like take the little picks off of or like sprigs off of and then one to actually use as a garland. Now I'm going to go ahead and I am going to kind of shove the garland underneath the mirror to help it stay in place and that way I have room to go ahead and put stuff on top of the mantle as well. I love this moss garland. I got it from Hobby Lobby when it was 50% off, and like I said, I got two of them, so that way I can pull one apart and use them as fillers, and then one to use as a garland, and I really think I'm going to go back and get another when they go 50% off. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add this window arch. I've just had that for years, and then here's the star of the show. I'm going to add this cute bunny picture that I got from Walmart, and I love it, so I kind of based all my colors and everything off of the flowers in her little crown. Now, there are two other parts of this mantle that are also the other stars of the show, so I'll show you those real soon. But first, I'm going to go ahead and add these logs on either side. And these logs I use all around my house pretty much all year round. They, I just love them. I bought them off of a friend after her wedding. 
and they come in handy so much. I've used them for birthday parties, wedding showers, baby showers, decorating my own home, just so many things. So here they are. Look at these cute little bunnies. I got them. Um, they were 40% off of $17.99, and I had to have them. Even when I was decorating, my husband was like, okay, they're cute. You know, like, I'll give it to you. <laughs> like, yes, you had to get them. I can see. So he even thought they, they were really cute, too. So I went ahead and placed one on either side of the window. And then on one of those logs, I'm going to actually place this lantern. I have had that for years. I don't even know where it came from from but I thought it might be kind of fun to keep the door open and then on the other side I'm gonna go ahead and place a bird cage when I think of spring I think of birds bird cages things like that and I've had these bird cages for a while too so I'm gonna go ahead and place a little ball of greenery inside and this is just a floral piece that I had and I decided to put it on its side so you could see more and then you see that I raised it up with one of those little candle holders so I'm just gonna go ahead and arrange it so it actually stays up and then it doesn't topple over but yeah I really loved um, I, I just really loved every aspect of how this mantle came out definitely my favorite part of my living room for sure so next I'm actually going to go in and okay now first you're going to see that it's tilted here but don't worry I do fix it. <laughs> I do notice and I do fix it. All right so next I wanted to put like a little nest inside this uh, lantern but I needed to prop it up. So I just have a glass bowl and I'm kind of just arranging it so it'll stay and then look at this you just lay your nest on top and that's it. So now it's propped up and it's so cute. Now I'm going to go in with these flowers, they're roses, and I'm just going to kind of just spread them all over. And you're going to see where I got these flowers from in one second because they're going to they're going to match a garland that I use at the bottom of my fireplace. But for now, I just took little uh, little um, the little flowers off and I'm just going to sporadically put them all around my or all throughout the, the mantle. Next, I'm going to go in with more of that greenery that I just pulled off the garland. And I'm going to kind of tuck it underneath the lantern and underneath the birdcage on the other side just to kind of dress up that log a little bit. I just felt like, I don't know, I just wanted more greenery. Like I said, I wanted this to be like a really pretty flowery garden. So I really wanted a lot of greenery, obviously. Then right next to the birdcage, I'm going to go ahead and add this cute bird from Hobby Lobby. And I liked that the blue matched the blue of the pants of that rabbit. So now I'm going to go in with three little, little eggs. And I'm just going to tuck them in the garland just so they're kind of slightly peeking through. And oh, <laughs> there's the baby. And if, if honestly, if you had not seen like it, it, you can't see them from far away you'd have to go up close and i liked that that's what i wanted just like a little detail peeking through i don't blame you and i should call you and see what you Okay, moving down to the bottom, I am going to go in with this basket that I've had forever. Actually, I think I stole it from my mom's house. <laughs> and I'm just going to use blankets and pillows to stuff it just to make it a little bit more um, fluffier, I guess, because I'm going to go in with this pink blanket from Pop Shelf. And I'm going to arrange it so that I'm hiding the uh, pillows and blankets underneath. But I want to see the basket because I am trying to bring in those natural wood elements. And so I thought that this would correlate well with the two logs that I used up top. So I'm going to go ahead and put that to the side. And then I'm going to go in with a pillow. Now, this is actually a pillow case from Hobby Lobby. I picked it up last year, but I did see that they had it this year too. And so I went ahead and just put it on one of my random uh, pillows. And then this welcome sign I actually had from my daughter's fairy birthday party <clears throat> years ago. So I'm going to stick that in and then just top it off with these this really pretty spray of florals and just kind of arrange it so you know it's just kind of layered and just peeking out and and everything and I I really love how woodsy and gardeny this little area came out it's so pretty so next we're going to go ahead and move over to the other side and I'm going to again start off with one of these logs 
Then I did go ahead and put greenery on, although you're going to see me take it off because it didn't quite work the way that I that I thought. So you'll take see me take that off. But I am going to go in with another bird cage, and this is a bigger bird cage than the one on top. And I thought it would work nicely because now there's one in the other corner that you know that correlates with this one. So you can see that I'm working the angles in my fireplace and mantle. Now here's the garland that I took those roses off of and I'm just simply going to stuff the garland inside that bird cage to add the, a little pop of pink there because you know as you can tell pink blush pink is kind of you know a, a highlight color here. And look at this cute little bicycle. This was actually my mom's. Um, she let me borrow it to use on my display this year. And I'm going to go in with another one of these little plants that matches the one in the birdcage up top. And again, I'm working the diagonals. So now I'm going to go in with this happy Easter sign and I'm going to stick that right in between the birdcage and the bicycle. Now I kind of took a step back, which is always a great idea to do. Go back and look at it. And I kind of realized that the Easter sign needed to be raised up a little bit. So I'm going to go in with this piece right here. It's just like a little sign from the Dollar Tree. And this is what I'm going to use as a little riser. And I like it because it's skinny. So I can put things in front of it too. But to go ahead and kind of hide. I was being lazy. I didn't want to steal. I didn't want to like peel off all the um, stickers and everything. So I'm just going to go in with more of that um, moss garland that I pulled apart. And I'm going to cover the top of this. Now when you stand back you can't see this at all. I know it's kind of sticking out there. But when I put the bicycle in front you really can't see it at all. And I really loved that. So once I put the bicycle back, I kind of arranged my pieces and my mantle and fireplace are done and I love it. What do you think? I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like. You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes. Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind. But I will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax. All your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party your problems away i'm all about the good vibes i know you're all about the good vibes do you know how much i love you want to see you smile where's that happy girl that i know with the heart on fire i'll do anything to make it fine but i can tell that you have something on your mind right now but i will make Moving on to my TV console, I'm just going to go ahead and put this log and put some of that moss greenery on top and I'm going to keep this extremely, extremely simple because... I there's a lot on the going on on the mantle so I just wanted to keep this simple but look at this little piece I had to have it when I saw it at home goods it's a mama bunny with two of her little bunnies and it reminded me of me and my girls so I'm just gonna simply place that on top then for the top of my stand my daughter really wanted me to use these birds again from Valentine's Day so I just went ahead and stuck those on top and then I added a blanket to my blanket basket over there to the left. And that was it for this area of my living room. Sweet and simple and I, I love it. To the end tables, I, I always keep these very simple too, as you're gonna see. But I'm gonna go in with a table or with a placemat from Target, I think, last year. And then look at these perfect bird cage uh, photo frames that I had from years ago. So I just went ahead. I do need to go ahead and add a picture of Charlotte. I have a million, both of them right now, <laughs> but I do need to um, add Charlotte. So I just went ahead and put those on each, and then. Here's a new 
furniture piece I don't think I showed before. I actually bought that off of someone on Facebook Marketplace and I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. So I just thought I would decorate it too by throwing a tray, a little floral arrangement, a bunny, and a candle holder. And I thought that was perfect. Then on my chair, I have the matching pillow from Walmart and it does match uh, that um, picture on my mantle and then I'm going to add another one to that blanket basket and I thought it was so cute. Now for my throw pillows on my couch I'm going to go in with this big green pillow and then I have these pillows that are actually pillow covers that I ordered from Amazon last year but I loved them because the little balls around the edges um, match the little balls on the placemat there. You can see it right there. Now to my blanket ladder, again, very simple. I added a Hello Spring blanket and then I just put some greenery in a hanging basket with some carrots and that was it to my hanging basket. So I thought that that part was so cute. Next, we're going to move over to the last part of the living room, which is this little table behind my couch. And I'm going to go in with a Ray Dunn birdhouse and then a family photo. Okay, pause. For the record, I did get another photo developed of the four of us, our family now. But do you think I could find it? No. <laughs> so stay tuned for an updated photo. All right, then I'm just going to top it off with that cute little Easter sign. For the bottom, I'm going to go in with some candlesticks with some pink candles that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to go in and use the aluminum foil trick to help my uh, candles stay in there. I know that one's crooked. Don't worry, I'll fix it. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in with two different heights. And then in front of that, I have this little basket that I got from the Target Dollar Spot this year. And I'm simply just going to... Uh, fill it with some little like string eggs these little eggs uh, that I got from Dollar Tree Then to the other side I'm gonna put this candle and it smells so good and it says April showers Which I love and I'm just gonna put that on the other side and it is super super simple Where's your irony? Just smile Why? Cause I got everything I need but not what I wanted Here's how my living room came out for Easter. I just think it is so bright and airy, and I just love all the colors. It's just, it reminds me of spring. Hi! Are you in your little bunny pajamas? Are you watching mommy decorate for your first Easter? Hi, pretty girl. Are you excited for the Easter Bunny? Yeah. Okay. More work to do. Let's hop to it. <laughs> do you think that's funny? All right. Now we're going to move on to the entryway. And we're going to start off with the tree. I'm not going to say this was a fail. But it didn't exactly turn out how I envisioned it. But you'll see. You be the judge. So here is what I think I'm going to be using <clears throat> on my tree. I have these little peeps. And believe it or not, this is literally all stuff I already had in my stash from last year. Because I did a haul last year before Easter and never used any of it because I never ended up decorating. So I just have some egg picks, some peep picks or bunny picks. The big eggs, which I was so happy to see that I have. I have these burlap. I don't know if that's going to look good with like the glitter. I don't know. We're going to see. And then I have one thing of yellow tulle. I hope it gets me. Um, I hope it fills up the tree. And then I just have some picks here for fillers if I need them. Okay, so first we're going to start off with some tulle. Now, I'm not going to really like walk you through every single thing that I put on the tree, especially since I just showed you what I was going to be using. So I'm just going to let the music play and let you watch it all come together. <laughs> I do have some commentary in here that I, you know, that I just said as I was decorating it. So anyways, um, I did end up using all those things. And um, let me know in the comments what you think of my tree. <laughs> Sun's coming 
up like the day before. You're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. Your favorite music gone all the way baritone. Oh, yeah. Shut the lights, go in front. It's not a really Ashley standard, I don't think. Um, I don't know. I think I need to add more to it. Let me bring you closer. Okay, then. Now, I don't really do much to the bottom because the little skirt that I use usually covers a lot of it. I know it needs a topper. It's okay. I don't love it, but to be completely honest with you, Easter is one week from today. So, <laughs> I'm not going to go crazy. You know, maybe when Hobby Lobby's stuff goes on sale, Easter stuff, like eggs and all that, I can get more and then be prepared for next year. <laughs> okay. We're just going to leave it. Oh, let's, let's do something about that topper, shall we? So for the topper, obviously, I'm just going to use my bunny ears and put it right on top. And that's going to be it for now. <laughs> There's my topper for now. I really didn't give this much thought. Um, let's figure out a skirt. So for the runner, I'm just gonna use, or the skirt, I'm gonna use a burlap runner. I've done this trick before. So I actually like using table runners for the little tree skirt because they're small and they're skinny. And I've done this many times. I used um, a table runner. So uh, that's just a little hack for you if you have like a little skinny tree like this, even during Christmas. Don't go out and buy like a big skirt. Just use what you already have or even a long piece of fabric would work too. Okay, I think from far away it looks cute. I need to fix this right here, the tool. But um... I don't know, there are some holes. Um, I think like I said, when Hobby Lobby has their stuff on sale, I'm going to buy some stuff for next year and that way I have it um, and stuff. Although, I do know that in my Valentine's box I have some pink, I might add pink bulbs. Would that be weird? Eh, we'll see. <laughs> okay, this is how it's gonna be for now bad so now we're gonna work on the rest of the entryway this bunny actually came from Dollar Tree plus it was five dollars and I thought it was adorable so did this blanket and I thought it was cute too so I'm gonna add this little pillow on top which is actually a pillow cover and then we're going to move over to the little entryway table so I got this runner oh gosh 
years ago and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that on my entryway table. Then on one side of the table, I'm going to put one of those little tree logs. And on top, I'm going to put this little pitcher with these really pretty florals that I actually got from Pop Shelf. They were $3 and I thought that they were so pretty. I really love that peach color. Then to the little window thing there, I'm gonna hang this wreath that I made in my last video, or my last DIY video, and then I'm just gonna switch out this greeting card. So that's one of my hacks that I shared in one of the my previous videos to just buy a frame and switch out. Uh, the picture and then you can use that frame all year round. So now I'm going to go ahead and put a log on the other side. Then I thought it would be fun for my daughter to decorate this little tree with mini Easter eggs and she had a really fun time. So after that was all decorated, I went ahead and placed it on top of that log. And then I'm going to add a really pretty bunny that I've had in my stash for years. And this is how my entryway cabinet came out. I really love the peach color, how in the picture it correlates with the peach in that wreath and just the, the pastels, and that's just something I really love. So that is how my entryway came out. You're gonna have to let me know what you think about the tree. I don't really know, like I said, I just think I didn't have enough stuff. So I'm gonna have to go when Hobby Lobby has their sale on Monday on Easter decor. Anyways, let me know what you thought about my decorate with me, what you thought about my living room and my entryway. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you got a lot of fun ideas and inspiration on how you can decorate your home for Easter or spring. Don't forget to catch my next video where I decorate my dining room and it is going to be amazing. I've kind of been playing with it already and it's turning out so cool. All right, so in my dining room, we are going to start off with my four tiered shelf and I'm going to start off with this cutting board that I got from the Dollar Tree and I believe they have them this year too. Now this little basket came from the Target Dollar Spot. I stuffed it with a green towel because now I'm going to put my DIY bottle brush trees inside my basket. I made a whole video of high-end Easter dupes, so if you missed that, definitely check my playlist of Easter DIYs because you are going to want to see those. I love them. Then this was another dupe that I made, and that is a bottle brush carrot. Then I'm just going to add this little hanging rabbit to the basket, and that completes the top. For the second shelf, I am going to use this stand that I got in the Target Dollar Spot this year. I am going to add this beaded garland that I got at the Dollar Tree, and obviously it is carrots. I wonder if you can catch the theme of this four-tiered shelf here. <laughs> obviously, it's going to be carrots. So I'm just kind of arranging that. I like it to hang a certain way. Next, I'm going to take this greenery. I'm going to lay it on its side just to add some dimension. And then I got this carrot farm sign from a three pack from Target Dollar Spot. Next, I added this bunny and I just glued one of those carrots to the bunny so it looks like he's holding one. Now I'm going to add my little truck and this was another piece from the Target Dollar Spot tier tray decor. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that to the back of my truck. Moving down to the third shelf, I'm going to add this crate from the Target Dollar Spot. You're going to hear me say Target Dollar Spot a thousand times in this video. <laughs> then I'm going to add this riser, and next to it, I'm going to add this Ray Dunn watering can, and I just threw some greenery inside. Now, I needed that riser because I am actually going to add the cutest decor piece from Hobby Lobby look it i wanted to add this on top because it looks like these buddies are trying to get into all the carrots so i thought that that would be so cute so now i'm gonna just go in and add some greenery and i always say that if something looks boring to you or just needs something add greenery it really helps 
Now, here are our DIY carrots, and I'm just gonna put one in each little opening, and then I'm going to put moss around each one of the carrots. Now, fair warning, moss is messy. Yes, it is, and you can see me making a big mess, but the great thing is it vacuums up. <laughs> so make that mess and just elevate your decor with moss. So, and you know what? It was worth it because I really do love how this little display came out. To complete that shelf, I just took a little cloche. I'm gonna put some fake little mini carrots from Hobby Lobby inside and put it behind my bunnies. Now moving down to the bottom, I got this big like tool crate thing from Target Dollar Spot. Probably got that from Target Dollar Spot too, the towel I don't remember. It was in my stash. I'm gonna go ahead and fill that crate with some greenery. Then I'm gonna take these carrots that I actually got from Michaels for 50% off this year and I'm gonna put that inside the crate. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know I'm not a Michaels fan, but I thought that this this was a great deal. I don't remember exactly how much they were, but either way they were 50% off and you know I wouldn't have bought them if it wasn't a good deal. Then to complete this bottom shelf, I just added more greenery and that's it. My four tiered shelf is complete. What do you think? One, two, three, four. No sleep when things run dry I'm empty I can't see I'm blinded by this concrete and I should call you see what you've been up to I've been wondering how far did you go in seven months I bet you're happy and don't think that much about me Here I am not known How to move on without you Moving on to this little shelf here, I'm going to go ahead and put this egg holder, I guess, on the back. And then I'm just going to use this little pink piece as a riser because I'm going to add this sign that says welcome to the garden right on, right in front of that little egg tray. Now I'm going to add this watering can and I just added some little florals in it. And next I'm going to add some gardening gloves that I actually got from the Dollar Tree right next to the watering can. Now all this stuff you see here came from the Target Dollar Spot at one point or another. Now the next two things I'm actually going to add are tools from the Dollar Tree and in a previous video, I aged them with cinnamon and Mod Podge. So I can have that linked down below, but I loved how these came out. I thought they looked so realistic, so old, so weathered. So I had to incorporate them. Then to kind of hide that pink riser, I'm just going to go through and add little touches of greenery. And that's it to the shelf. And I love this shelf. This shelf display is probably my favorite shelf display I've done on this shelf. How many times can I say shelf? <laughs> but ever since I've had it, this is my favorite. Then I forgot I added some moss balls to the side as well. Now to my little windows, which are actually the doors from my hutch, I thought, you know what? I want this to be whimsical. I want it to be garden-like. So I'm going to add these vines that I already had. They were from my daughter's fairy party a couple years ago. And I'm just simply going to drape them. I thought this would be a different idea. Usually I just add like a wreath on each of these. But I thought that these would be different. I didn't have any wreaths. So I was really like, what can I do? What can I do? And I thought of this and I love it. I just think it's so different. 
so unique and a good alternative to, you know, a wreath or something. So then I went ahead and did it to my second window as well. Moving on to my hutch, I want the feel of this to be very, well, flowers and garden. <laughs> so I want you to pick up that vibe and I, I wanted this to all be neutral, which is not like me, but I really am loving that for this spring. So I picked up the sign at Pop Shelf and I just went ahead and put it on the that top shelf and that's it to that shelf. Moving down to the middle, these are the DIY dupes that I made in my dupe video. So I'm gonna put one of each in either side and then in the middle I'm going to put this charger plate that I actually got from Hobby Lobby and we're gonna go ahead and make a couple different vignettes so for this one I'm gonna add this riser that I got from the Target dollar spot this year and then we're going to go in with this super cute bunny that I got from Hobby Lobby. I had to have it. It was so cute. Now, it was $25.99, but I did get it for 40% off. But this is one of those pieces that you saw it and you're like, yes, I have to have it. Next to that, I'm going to go in with some of these very neutral carrots that I got from Walmart. The bigger one was $4.48 and the smaller one was $1.98. And these were the last two that they actually had in the store. So I was so happy that I could grab them. Then on the other side of the bunny, I'm just going to go in with a very little watering can. It's like a mini watering can. I just threw some greenery in there and I'm going to place it on the other side. Next, I'm going to go in with these candle holders that I already had. I've had these for years, and I'm going to split the center between uh, the two displays, like on either side. And then I'm going to go in with these moss balls from Hobby Lobby. These were 80, or, I'm sorry, 40% off. So I'm going to go ahead and put one on each. Now, it might bug you that they're a couple different sizes and, you know, heights and stuff, but I kind of like that. It gave it variation, but, uh, so let me know what you think. Is this something that bugs you? <laughs> I want to know. All right, so now I'm going to go in with these bird cages that I got from Target Dollar Spot this year, and to dress these up, I'm just going to simply take some moss. I'm going to make it look like a nest, so I'm going to make it kind of deeper in the middle, then I'm going to take this pack of eggs from the Target doll, I mean, I'm sorry, from Hobby Lobby. They were $4.99, of course, 40% off. And I'm just going to put three eggs in my little nest. And then I'm going to put the cage back on it. And then I'm going to put it in the middle of my bunny and the candle holder. And then I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. I loved this little pop of color. It wasn't a huge pop of color, but I thought it was just enough because like I said, I'm still trying to stay with that neutral touch. So I just decided to go with these color eggs for this display. Finally, for the middle shelf, I'm going to go in with these little moss bunnies that I got from Target Dollar Spot, and I'm going to put one on either side of the middle display. 
Then we're going to move down to the bottom and I'm going to start off with this egg cutting board or charcuterie board. I'm going to put that in the middle and then in front I'm going to layer two more. All this stuff came from Target Dollar Spot at one time or another and I'm going to layer those in front of the egg cutting board. Next, I'm going to go in with a little wicker basket that also came from Target Dollar Spot. Literally, almost everything on this shelf came from Target Dollar Spot. And then I'm going to go in with, uh, with this colander, also from Target Dollar Spot. <laughs> uh, so I told you you're going to hear me say that a thousand times in this video. Uh, this did not. This came from Hobby Lobby. I got it for 90% off or 75, one of the two, after their spring sale. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put some of this hanging greenery hanging out of it. And I actually had some sticks, so I went ahead and threw those in there too. Now I'm going to hang another cute little bunny off of that. And moving to the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put that greenery and a little hanging bunny. Next, I'm going to go in with two more of those moss bunnies. And as you can see, I'm putting them on the outside this time. So I'm working the diagonals. And then I'm going to go in with this little wood egg holder piece and I got it on clearance from Hobby Lobby for $3.74. Now to put in my little egg holder, I am going to use this pack of white speckled eggs from the from Hobby Lobby. They were 40% off of $5.99 and I'm just going to put one in each little hole. Now to dress this up a little bit, I did go in with some more moss and I just wrapped it around each one of the eggs and I loved the added detail that this gave. I am in love with my hutch this year. I think, well, this is the first time I've decorated it for spring and Easter. I didn't decorate it all last year, but you're going to have to let me know what you think. It's definitely giving me all the garden vibes. I got everything I need, but not what I wanted. Cause I just wanted you. And if I could, I'd leave the city too. I don't blame you. And I should call you, see what you've been up to. I've been wondering how far did you go in seven months? I bet you're happy and don't think that much about me. Moving on to my table. I love how this table came out. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this moss runner that I got from Michaels. I did get it for 40% off, so it was only like 12 something, which I didn't think was bad. And hey, I can use it every year. So I am going to go ahead and spread it out. Now it is kind of wrinkly now, but it will flatten as I start putting stuff on it. And now is where when we're going to bring in those pots that we painted. So I'm going to put the biggest ones on either side, on either end. And then I'm just going to go in with those middle size and kind of just angle them, put them facing different directions. Some of them are standing up, laying on their sides. And then I'm going to go in with the mini ones and do the same thing.
Next, I'm going to go in with some moss, and I am just going to basically put a little bit of moss inside each one of the pots and it was that simple again I feel like this moss really adds so much to your decor Next, I'm going to go in with these twine carrots, and I'm going to just randomly put carrots in some of the pots. I'm not going to put them in all of the pots, but just some. Then I got these little mini bird's nests from Hobby Lobby. It was a four-pack, and so I'm just going to spread them all around my little tablescape here, and I'm going to put one of those little mini eggs in each one of the nests, and I love that little detail too. I think it's so cute. Then I'm going to go back to the carrots. Now these are kind of bigger carrots. So I just went ahead and added some carrots to um, the bigger pots. And then like I said, I'm just randomly adding carrots. And uh, not in every single one, but just some of them. But I like the pop of color here. It definitely reminds me of a garden for sure. Next, I'm going to go in with more of those eggs, and I'm just going to kind of randomly place them just kind of wherever there's holes anywhere or just, just needs something. And then I'm going to go in with the carrots, and I'm going to keep doing that. So I'm kind of switching back and forth between the carrots and the eggs and just filling any holes. I'm also going to go in with the big white speckled carrots and I'm going to fill any holes with those as well. And I, yeah, I just, I love it so far. It's coming out super cute. Okay, so at this point I loved where it was going, but it just needed something. So I'm going to take that moss garland. If you watched my last two videos, you saw me use some of the moss garland as picks and I'm basically taking it apart and I'm just going to go through and just fill in all of these holes and I really do think that this elevated it a lot. So I actually went to Hobby Lobby to go buy another one because their florals are 50% off right now. They are gone. I did not see them at all. I was so sad because I wanted to pick up one more, but I am going to have to keep my eye out for that. But if you missed my last two decorate with me's, you're definitely going to have to catch those because oh, you're just going to love how my kitchen, coffee bar, and living room came out. An entryway, just so super fun and so cute and completely different than this style and look too. So you're definitely going to have to check that out. We will be going back to that tablescape, the centerpiece, in a minute, but we're going to go ahead and do our table settings. I'm going to go in with these dark wicker uh, chargers that I got from Hobby Lobby. I actually got them 
for like 75% off for the after spring sale last last year. And now I'm going to go in with these wood chargers. I'm sorry, those were placemats. These are chargers. So I'm going to go in with those. And these just came from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to go ahead and place one on each one of the placemats. Then I'm going to go in with these mint colored plates. These are not the plates I wanted. They I got these from the Dollar Tree. I wanted the dark green one, green ones, which they had, and I did not get them, and I know better than that. And so I'm going to keep my eye out. I would prefer the dark green ones. Now I'm going to go in with my orange napkins. These I had in my stash already, and I'm just simply going to lay one on each plate. And then to top this off, look how cute. I was not going to buy these. And then I happened to notice that they were $2.50 on the Pottery Barn Kids website. So I had to pick these up. I thought that they were so adorable. They are actually Malamine, which I really like. But I had to have them. If you remember my dupe video, I did make a dupe of this. But I figure, hey, I got the real thing. And I got it super, super cheap. So I wanted to use them. So I got two different styles. So I'm just alternating them and I'm just going to use them in my display. Now I'm going to go in with these glasses that I got from the Target dollar spot this year. And that's it for the table settings. Now, as I was looking at the centerpiece, I knew it needed something. So I grabbed these really cute bunnies from Hobby Lobby. The big ones were 40% off of $9.99 and the smaller ones I think were $5.99 and then you get 40% off. I got two of the big ones, two of the small ones and I'm just going to incorporate them in my uh, display here and I love this little touch that it added. I think it is so cute. Then to finally complete this, I'm going to go in with this greenery. It kind of looked like a vegetable to me or like it could be or something. I don't know. I just wanted to go in. It kind of had that purple tone to it too. So I went ahead and added these in random spots as well. And that was it. This is how my dining room table came out. Let me know what you think. Things run dry. Seven months. I bet you're happy and don't think that much about me. Here I am alone. How to move on without you? You, you. Now for my bar cart, I did. I decorated it and my camera shut off. This happened to me last time. But I'm just showing you how I decorated it. Um, I did end up putting some vines around it. So it gave it more of that touch. It's very simple. Nothing crazy. Um, and very cute. Then I added this sign on the wall, which is actually in a DIY video that I did a couple years ago. And that completed my dining room. Let me know what you think. I absolutely love it. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. Look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade if you're ready for a good time, count on 